Uh, personification. If a metaphor involves likeness between inanimate and animate objects, we deal with personification. For example, snow speaks to the people. It is falling above in the glooming sunlight. Its white sparkling voice echoes as it falls through the air. Or the house whispers in David Lawrence's famous story, The Rocking Horse Winner. I hate our house for whispering. An unspoken phrase, there must be more money, there must be more money, whispered throughout the house. Or pay attention to William Blake's poem. Two sunflowers move in the yellow room. Ah, oh, William, we're weary of weather, said the sunflowers, shining with dew. Our traveling habits have tired us. Can you give us a room with a view? They arranged themselves at the window and counted the steps of the sun, and they both took root in the carpet where the topaz tortoises run. Um, and now about metonymy. Metonymy is a stylistic device in which a thing or concept is not called by its own name, but by the name of something intimately associated with that thing or concept. Both metaphor and metonymy involve the substitution of one term for another. They may be used in place of another. However, the two figures of speech work very differently. Metonymy works by the contiguity, association between two concepts, whereas metaphor works by the similarity between them. When people use metonymy, they do not typically wish to transfer qualities from one referent to another, as they do with metaphor. In metaphor, this substitution is based on similarity, while in metonymy, the substitution is based on contiguity. Now consider the following examples. Metaphor example. That man is a pig. So uh, using pig instead of unhygienic person. And an unhygienic person is like a pig, but there is no contiguity between the two. And metonymy example. The White House supports the bill. Using White House instead of President. The President is not like the White House, but there is contiguity between them. Uh, or we need some new faces around here. So the understanding of a reference to the face is standing for the whole person. Uh, the pen is mightier than the sword. Pen and sword represent publishing and military force, respectively. Nixon bombed Hanoi. Nixon stands for the armed forces that uh, he controlled. Uh, consider the following example. Now, the ham sandwich at table 11 wants a bill. Okay, I'll get it. Are you the fish? No, my husband's the fish. So, metonymy is, as we have seen, formed by a process of contiguity rather than by one of uh, similarity or analogy making. A uh, metaphor involves a blending of two conceptual domains. Metonymy involves only one conceptual domain. Thus, the utterance cited above spoken by a waitress to a colleague, so waitress number one, the ham sandwich at table 11 wants a bill, involves a uh, meto metonymic process in which ham sandwich is taken to refer to the person at table 11 who has been eating a ham sandwich. Uh, and now let us deal with exercises. Uh, analyze the given cases of metaphor, its expressiveness, vividness, and elaboration of the created image. Pay attention to the manner in which two objects or actions are identified. His voice was a dagger of corroded brass. He smelled the ever-beautiful smell of coffee imprisoned in the can. I am the new year. I am an unspoiled page in your book of time. I'm your next chance at the art of living. Um, indicate metonymy. State the type of relations between the object named and the object implied, which they represent, and pay attention to the degree of their originality. She wanted to have a lot of children, and she was glad that things were that way, that the church approved. Then the little girl died. Nessa broke with Rome the day her baby died. It was a secret break, and no Catholic breaks with Rome casually. She saw around her, clustered about the white tables, multitudes of violently red lips, powdered cheeks, cold, hard eyes, 
self-possessed arrogant faces and insolent bosoms. Some remarkable pictures in this room, gentlemen. A Holbein, two Van Dyck's, and if I'm not mistaken, a Velasquez. I'm interested in pictures. He made his way through the perfume and conversation. Uh, write the object being personified and the meaning of the personification. The wind sang her mournful song through falling leaves. The microwave timer told me it was time to turn my TV dinner. The video camera observed the whole scene. The strawberries seemed to sing, eat me first. The rain kissed my cheeks as it fell. The daffodils nodded their yellow hats at the walkers. The water beckoned invitingly to the hot swimmers. The snow whispered as it fell to the ground during the early morning hours. The china danced on the shelves during the earthquake. The car engine coughed and sputtered when it started during the blizzard.